Honestly, as you are aware, Cavan had a proud army tradition over the years. Generations of families joined um, and were very proud to serve our country both at home and abroad. And I'm sure Deputy Berry would agree with me and others in the House that there was always greater recruitment in an area where there was a substantial army barracks. Cavan, Kildare, other places, noteworthy. So again, I'd appeal to you to consider the needs of the border region and the possibility of having Dooney Nail opened. Recently in Lebanon, you met members of the Defence Forces from my own county of Cavan who spoke to you about their family connections and you knew, you knew some of those families as well. So I don't think we should ever underestimate the continuity and family tradition and the continuity of recruitment in areas where there has been a substantial army presence over the years. Thank you, Alaskan Court. Yes, I'm very much taken by Deputy Brenda Smith's point. And I, it's something, you know, when you talk to Army personnel, military personnel, Navy, Air Corps, or Army, there is a strong link back to geography, uh, to where barracks were present. Uh, of that, there is no doubt. Um, now, the focus at the moment in terms of capital investment is in upgrading existing facilities, but I will talk to the Deputy further in respect of the, the issue that he's raised. In